Today we're going to take a look at solving for x on 8 to the 3x minus 5 equal to 13. So first problem is that the x is locked in the exponent of 8. We have 8 to the 3x minus 5. x is all the way up there. We need to finish with x equal to something. That's our end goal. Little tough. Little tough to just work this around. So what can we do here? How can we maneuver some things around and get it into a scenario where we can just say x is equal to something? Well... First thing I'm noticing is eight. Eight is a power of two, like two to the third is eight. Well, in this scenario, this doesn't really help us because if I change this to eight, or if I change eight to two to the third, so I'd have two to the third to the three X minus five, I'd still be left with 13 over here. So that doesn't help me out because the whole concept of that is trying to get it as two to the three times three X minus five. And then like two to some power of like, let's say there's like two and then we have some exponent, like let's say just say X or something like that, where then the twos, same thing, same base. So then we would just drop them off and you'd end up with three times three X minus five and, and so on. We don't have that though. We don't have that luxury right now. So we can't do that. Not a viable option. So now in this scenario, since I don't have that ability to just change that base to two to some power i have to now use natural logs what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the natural log of both sides and here's what this is going to look like it's going to be natural log of eight to the three x minus five equal to the natural log of 13. here's the reason why i did that i can now use the power rule for natural logs what the power rule says is that if I, I can now take 3x minus 5 and bring it down, so this is 3x minus 5, notice how I'm putting this in parentheses, times the natural log of 8 equals the natural log of 13. The reason I'm putting this in parentheses, it's a very, very small detail, but it's a very important detail. The reason I'm putting this in parentheses is because I need to do natural log of 8 times 3x, natural log of 8 times negative 5. I have to multiply everything, the natural log by the entire statement of 3x minus 5. If I don't put those parentheses, I might forget to do that. So I'm going to do natural log of 8 times 3x, natural log of 8 times negative 5. I'm going to have 3x natural log of 8 minus 5 natural log of 8 e equals natural log of 13. Now I'm, I'm starting to figure it out. I'm starting to get into a scenario where I could solve for x. I'm going to get rid of the 5 natural log of 8, move that over. I'm going to have now 3x natural log of 8 equals natural log of 13 plus 5 natural log of 8. Okay, look at this. We are in good shape here. Because now I can solve for x. All I have to do is just divide by 3 natural log of 8. And when I divide by 3 natural log of 8, I have to divide everything by 3 natural log of 8. Because going back to this step, I can't do anything with this. This is natural log of 13, natural log of 8. I can't combine like terms or anything like that. So I just leave that alone. That means I have x, 3's cancel, natural log of 8's cancel. So x is equal to natural log of 13 plus 5 natural log of 8 all over 3 natural log of 8. I think favorably we just want to leave it like this. Like I don't think it's necessary to rewrite it as natural log of 13 over 3 natural log of 8 plus 5 natural log of 8 over 3 natural log of 8. I guess you could because then the natural log of 8s would cancel out. I, I think it's fine just like this though. But if you wanted to continue this, you could. You could say x is equal to natural log of 13 over 3 natural log of 8 plus 5 natural log of 8 over 3 natural log of 8. And then those cancel, leaving you with natural log of 13, 3 natural log of 8, plus 5 over 3. I don't really see the point. I think this would be the favorable answer, in my opinion. Either way, that's how you do it, though. And the key to this problem, going back to the beginning, is the fact that this is 8 and this is 13. If it was 8 and, let's say, like 4... That would be two to the third, two to the second. Then I'd be able to do that method that I was trying to show you where you'd be able to just bring down those, those bases would just drop out and then you just have the exponents that equal to one another. But in this one, not able to do that. 
which means we have to use the natural log properties and solve from there. Good problem.